Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today we're going to talk about the HSL color tab in Lightroom. Now to me, this is one of the most important tabs and set of controls in Lightroom. Now, I'm going to assume that most of you probably shoot RAW and you probably notice that your RAW files lack contrast and lack color. And when you bring them into Lightroom, the first thing you're probably going to do is go up to the basic tab and adjust these tone controls. This is for tonal contrast. Um, all these controls do something that affect the tone in the image. After you do that, you may jump down and move maybe the vibrance and saturation sliders. These sliders though, will either increase or decrease the vibrance or saturation of all the colors relatively equally. Now the vibrance doesn't do as much to the reds and skin tone colors as much as it will do to the other colors. Whereas the saturation slider will adjust every color equally. So you're going to increase or decrease the saturation of every single color equally. Really neither of these sliders do anything for the other type of contrast that is in an image or a scene and that is color contrast. And that's where the HSL color tab come in. Now first of all there's two headings here. We have the HSL one which is the active one right now. If I click on color it, it's really the same thing. So don't get confused and think that this is two different tools. These are just laid out differently, meaning when you have color active, you have these little color squares going across the top, you know, red, orange, yellow, and green, and so on. And you could come in, let's say with the red, and you could affect the hue, saturation, and luminance of all the red that is in the image. Conversely, if you're over at HSL, it's the same thing. You just have separate sliders for each of the colors instead of little circles, and you have three headings for hue, saturation, and luminance. This is the one I prefer to use, and it really just comes to personal taste. One heading, HSL or color, isn't better than the other heading. Now, I prefer HSL, and I prefer to work them in reverse order. Uh, you can view all of them if you click on all, and you'll see all the sliders for each U saturation and luminance are laid out. I prefer to work them backwards from luminance over to hue. Um, now the main thing you have to keep in mind, what you're trying to achieve here is some color contrast. That's slightly different than tone uh, contrast in an image. Uh, let me try to explain. Um, for example, in this image, we have, of course, a lot of green, a lot of blue. But if you look closely at the green, it's not just green there. There's actually yellows there. There's a little bit maybe of orange, a little bit of red. And what we want to do usually is try to get these individual colors to stand out against one another. We just don't want uniform green going across the ground. We want some of the colors just to stand out against some of the other colors. And that's the color contrast. And what I like to do is start with luminance because this will affect the brightness levels of all these different colors. And typically, I like to come in and brighten up the yellows. So you can see as I move that to the right, anything that is more towards yellow in the scene is getting brighter. If I move it to left, anything that is more towards yellow would get darker. So I would brighten up yellow. I'll go to orange. I can move that up and you can see that there's some of the, um, some of the uh, weeds, I guess you say, in the, in the foreground are mainly being affected there. See if anything with red. Uh, just quick glance, I don't see anything happening with red. Now, of course, aqua and blue is going to affect the sky. Typically, I'd like my blue skies a little deeper blue, so I'd move this to the left. You also could move aqua. Aqua will tend to work more towards the horizon line uh, compared to what the blue does. And you can see here, it's actually affecting the hills in the distance as well. So, again, I'd like to come in and do luminance first, just to make various colors either brighter or darker. I'll go to green and to make it stand out more against the yellow, I usually like to make this darker. So I'll make the greens darker, the yellows brighter. I might make the orange brighter as well. There's not a lot of orange here. And red, 
again, doesn't seem to be doing anything that I could see. But sometimes, you know, there's some red in there as well, and you want to affect that. Magenta, there's nothing here that's magenta. And purple, I don't think there's anything purple either. So that's what I'll do, luminance first. Then I'll jump over to saturation, and I'll look. Well, the yellows really aren't that saturated, so I'll move the yellows more to the right. The greens are very saturated so i don't think i even want to move that at all maybe the blue just a little bit maybe just a touch make that a little more saturated the aqua a little more saturated um the orange there wasn't much orange in here to begin with if i move it to the far right you could see like this weed over here and these uh, weeds over here are getting either more saturated or less saturated so i can move that around too so that's why one of the reasons why I like to do luminance first, because then you really see what those colors are affecting in the scene. I probably wouldn't have noticed these few weeds in the foreground were orange, or at least orange would affect those. Now I know, and I could come in, I knew because I adjusted luminance first, so I could come in with the orange in saturation and increase the saturation. Then finally in hue, I'll come in here and just shift the hues of things a little bit, either because my camera didn't capture the actual hues that I remember seeing uh, accurately, or again, I'm just trying to get them to stand out against other colors that are surrounding them. So for example, if I don't think the yellows are standing out enough, I could come in here and tweak the hue of the yellow to get it to stand out even more. See, as I move it to the left, the yellows seem to stand out a little more against the greens. You could do like with orange as well and so on. So you can move the hue. So I do that last. And usually I don't move hue sliders that much. So that's just the way I go about doing it. I'll do tonal contrast first up here, mainly with the exposure contrast, highlight shadows, whites and blacks. Sometimes I'll add contrast with the tone curve. Then I'll jump down to the HSL color tab. I'll stay in HSL and I'll start with luminance. Kind of note what the sliders are affecting in the in the photo, then work my way through saturation and then hue. And then I'm really done adjusting the color. If I really think it's either maybe too saturated or not saturated enough, I may come in here and move vibrance and saturation, but very rarely. So that's the HSL color tab in Lightroom. Again, I think it's one of the most important tabs containing some of the most important controls in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.